Various dissent among our former territories require our help, nor do they wish to help us. We are losing, gentlemen, losing control, not only of the people, but of the economic benefits in which these countries have supplied us for decades. The. We, we also see these countries becoming more independent. They actually believe that they are becoming superior in their economic, political, and cultural uniqueness. The Japan has invaded Manchuria. China is split and we can no longer. Hi, y'all. America, what are you doing here? Once again, you are putting your nose in places where it doesn't belong. I don't think I need to remind you all, but this league was my idea. I have been monitoring the situation and your problem is my problem. It may have been your idea, but you are no longer welcome here. Well, hold on there, Frenchie. I may have a solution to everyone's problem. What is this? It's the Hunger Game, a cultural phenomenon sweeping through America. And what does it have to do with us? Well, I haven't quite read it yet, but according to sources in the book, the capital has problems with the people, and they play a game to solve it, the ultimate game. They fight and stuff till, till there's only one. And this keeps the peace. And what are your sources? Spark notes? <sighs> no, what do you think I am? Stupid? I used Wikipedia. Duh. I like this idea. He's, she's crazy, but I like it. It's crazy, but it might just work. Alright, since we all agree, let's lay down some rules. We can each choose a tribute from a nationalistic country and will be placed in the arena with items from their homeland. The victor will win supreme nationalist country. Welcome to the first annual nationalist game. The tributes are India, represented by Gandhi. Mohandas Gandhi was a lawyer before he set up a non-violent resistance. I took this out, you took this out. We are to this out. Iran. Recently found oil. Recently lost oil thanks to Britain. Greece. The Greek Orthodox Church has been a popular source for Greek nationalism. Alba! China, represented by Chang Hai Shek's younger sister. Hey, I'm only in it for the marriage rights. Brazil. Three quarters of the world's coffee is grown there. Argentina. Argentina's national dance is the tango. Mexico. Represented by Santa Ana. His victory at the Alamo was quite impressive. Remember the Alamo? I would rather not. Iraq recently gained independence. I don't know, I have to check with my British official before I can answer anything. Turkey, represented by Mufasa Kemal. Kemal was a military officer who led the Turkish national movement in the Turkish war for independence. We sign treaty. It's mine, don't worry about that. Arabian Peninsula. I volunteer as tribute to the Arabian Peninsula. Who are you? You don't know me? I'm T.E. Lawrence, the uh, eccentric explorer. Okay then, let the games begin. On your mark, get set, go! Opa! Please. What are you doing, Iraq? Go get him! I have to check with my British official first. I can't speak. Take that! Ow! But it was Steve Cat! Ah, that hurt! And the winner is Turkey! I win! Out of all the countries, Turkey was the most successful in nationalizing. 